Hey, on this lesson, we are going to create a digital wallet. It will be a project named Meteor Wallet and we will start by managing contacts because later we are going to send money and receive money from our contacts. But first, we need a way to manage them. So we will create a new collection, we will insert and fetch data, and in the end, we are going to deploy our application to Galax. Hey, so let's create our new project and its name will be Meteor Wallet. So open up your terminal and navigate to the right folder. I am already inside of mine. And right here, we will run the Meteor create command and pass the name of the project that will be Meteor Wallet. We run that and that boilerplate that we explored in the last lesson will be generated again but we will clean up our project as soon as we check that everything is all right. Okay, so we can now enter inside Meteor Wallet and run the command Meteor. We could run Meteor or Meteor Run. Both will start our application. So here it will start the web server, the embedded MongoDB, and it will be ready for us on the localhost port 3000. So let's see if it's already started. Is building yet? And let's refresh and try again. Oh, sorry. Let me type again. And yeah, it is started. So this is the same project as we saw before with the counter and all the links. But now we will clean up all this boilerplate code and start from scratch. So let's open WebStorm and I will open my project that is on the dev folder, Meteor Projects, Meteor Wallet that we just created. And then we can see all the files and folder that we saw before. And then we start cleaning up a little bit. So the entry point of this is the main JSX file. So if we go to the app component, we can see that we have all those other components right here. So I will delete this hello and info components and WebStorm will tell me that they are being used, but anyway, I will delete them. And then I will remove from here and also remove the imports. So now if we check our application in the browser, we can see just this message and I will change it to Meteor Wallet. That is the name of our project. Okay, so in the UI side, everything is okay. Uh, we have here this CSS, I will also delete that. We have the HTML, I will just put the correct name here, Meteor Space Wallet. Main JSX is fine. We also have the links collection that we want to use on this. So I will remove it and delete anyway. We can see that in the server main.js file, we were using this uh, links collection to insert data. So we will remove the import and everything that we have here. And, and now it looks okay. So yeah, it's still working fine. Okay, I think now we are good to go. And the first functionality that we will create is managing contacts because we are creating a digital wallet. And the main idea here is to be able to add money and also send money to our contacts. So we will start from creating our contacts. Let's start creating our form. So this is our main app component. And right here, I will create a form. And I don't need an action right now. Inside of a div, I will create a label for a field called name. And then inside of this, I will put the label name and an input input of type text. And this will be the name. So I will just run our application because then 
we can develop it and test at the same time. So I will run it from here, meter, and I will open my browser in localhost for 3000. And yeah, we can already see a field right here. Okay, I will also give an ID to this field. And our contacts, they will have, let me just type here a comment. So our contact will have a name, an email, and an image URL. So then you can see their profile picture. So I will just do the same after this, creating a new div another label and this one will be for the email and then email now the input and right now in this case it will be email and id email okay i always like to have a look if it's everything okay and then the third one will be the image url we can copy and paste this and then we can type less code so this will be image url in this case it is text id image url and the label image url oops let me go back yeah it looks fine and the last thing will be a button so then you can submit these values to save it and i will call it save contact let's see okay it looks okay it's not pretty for sure but we will fix that so let's go back here and i will start doing something because this is react right and we should create always small components to be able to compose them so I will extract this to a new component. I will create a new file here called contactform.jsx. Then I will create here a new React component named contactform. And I will return it. Let me just cut it from here, our form and I will paste it there. Okay, and now instead of putting that form here, I will just import that contact form. And WebStorm is helping me here because it is importing my component for me. Okay, so I will save and everything should be working fine, but it is not. So let's see what's going on. I will inspect and check the console in the browser and we can see a error message here saying react is not defined so the thing is we created a react component called contact form but we haven't import react right here so i will do that from react and save it and check it again okay let me clean this and now it looks good. So we just refactored our code to use a new component and everything's okay. Right, so we are going to need to save those values. I mean, if I type here right now and try to do something, uh, I would just put something here and try to submit. Uh, nothing happens, right? So we submitted this form, but to where? We haven't defined what it should do when you click on the save contact. So let's do that. Let's define a method right here called save contact. And then when we click on the button, and I will just put this the type of button because I don't want to submit type button on click. It will call the function that I just defined. And for now, it's not doing anything. 
because what you need to do is to take the value of each of those fields and then save it, right? So this is just React. So we are going to use React state and keep the values of each component. So the first one is name and we will use the use state hook from React. And we are going to do the same for email and then set email. And also for the image URL, we are going to do the same and set image URL. And what we need to do is every time that we change the value of this field, and we will do the same for all the others, we are going to call a function that takes the value of the input and set to our React state. So in this case, set name e.target.value. And I will just do this so then it will be easier to us to see the function. And we need to do the same for all the other fields. So I'll we'll just copy this and let me do the same for the input email and the event will set the set email it will call the set email function and for the image url it's just the same so let me organize it here and then this one will be set image url all right it looks good so to check if this is working i will call the save contact function and for now i will just print this in our browser just print the values of the name email and image url so then you can see if it's everything working okay just save it and i will open the browser and let's do a refresh so then i can see if there is any error here so there is not so i'll we'll clean it up and put some details here and i would just put something like png and save okay it looks good it is printing the data right here we also can clean this field after we save the contact but so far so good let's go back to the editor and after printing this i will just clean all the values i will just set an empty string for each of them. So for the name, for the email, and for the image URL. Right, let's just test this. So let me go back to here and I will try it again. And pred.png and save contact. Hmm, it's not cleaning. Why not? because we are taking the value and just printing it out but we are not setting this value for the inputs so what you need to do is to change the input and define its value as name this one is the email and the third one is the image url okay looks good let's test it again Fred pad.media.com and image url just pad.png and okay it looks good it is printing the data here and it is cleaning our fields but now what you need to do is to send this to the back end we need to save this in our database and for that we need to create a collection because we are going to save this in mongodb and you need to save this as a document in the MongoDB. So if you remember, we had before inside imports API, we had a file uh, defining the collection and we will create just the same. In this case, it will be called contacts collection.js. As you are going to use Mongo to define our collection, I will import it here from meter mongo and then we create a variable called contacts collection 
using new mongo dot collection and then we define which will be the name in the database in this case it will be contacts okay so this is defined and it is exported and as we know mongodb is a schemaless database so we don't need to define which properties which columns we are going to have in our document so we can define just like this we will see in other lessons that there is a way to create a schema and it is a good practice but for now we will leave that way so let's go back there and we are going to instead of just printing this we need to send to the database right we need to save it and to do that we are going to import the contacts collection that we just created we will call the function insert and exactly the same thing that we were printing i will copy and paste and we will save in the database okay do you think it's going to work seems too easy right let's try it so let's go back there to the browser and i will just type the same values again my name email and also uh url png and save contact okay it seems that we have an error so it is saying that insert failed method contacts insert not found so what happened here is we have to be aware of everything that we learned before so we just declared a contacts collection and we are trying to use it right here in the front end side but we know that the database is in the server side so mongo will be in the server side and we need to create this collection in our database we need to go to our entry point in our server side in this case it is the main js file and even though we are not using that collection here we will need to import it here because if we don't then meter will not load this file in the server side and we need that meter does that because then meter will create the collection inside mongodb for us we can even check before importing we can open our nosql buster and we're gonna see that we still don't have this contact collection created so we can see and i will do a refresh we have the links collection still because we started this app with the boilerplate and the links were there we can even drop this collection just doing this way drop and then meter needs to create also the contacts so to do that we are going to import our contacts collection we can see that we are in the server folder and the contacts collection is in imports api contacts collection so we need to go back one level let's do that import then we go back on level then we import api contacts collection once you do that meter will restart our server and now this collection will exist on the server side and when we call the insert it should work so let's try let's go back to the browser and try to add that data again and save contact and it looks good we don't see any error message and we can check in the nosql buster refresh yes so now meter created our contact collection and we fetch the data we can see that it is there so it is very simple right basically after creating the react stuff what we needed to do was to create the contacts collection and define it as a mongo collection we had to import it on the server side and we just imported on the client called insert and pass the data and i told you before that it's too good to be true right we will understand why we are able to do that because if you think about it we are on the client side and we are accessing our database so this is actually good for prototyping 
but we will see that it is not good for our real application. But for now, we will keep in that way and our form, it is already working and it is inserting the data in our database. Now, we need to list in our application the contacts that we are saving. So let's go back to WebStorm and inside the app component, we can already remove this comment. Inside here, we will handle another component to list our contacts. So let's start from there, creating a new file called contactlist.jsx. And again, this will be a React component. So I will start importing React from here, from React. Okay, so export const contact list. And then I will render, I will return and render just a simple message like list contacts or contact list. And I will put a H3. Okay, so I'm just creating the component and I will import it here, contact list. Again, developing step by step and testing. So yeah, it is here, contact list, but I actually want to put this below the form. So let's check again. Yeah, it looks good. I will start by creating a static content. So we will understand the structure that we are building. And we are basically creating a simple list with well and li. And what I want to show first is the name of the contact and its email. That is my fake email. And I will just replicate this. And again, so one, two, and three. And let's check on the screen. Yeah. So this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I'm. So this is what I'm trying to create. Okay, so we need to create a variable. So I will just create a contacts array. And instead of showing that way, I will create a mapping. So I will use the contacts dot map. Then I will take each contact and I will map it to a new value that will be a L I and I will show, I will present the contact dot name and also the contact dot email. So this is what I want to do and I will remove the static data now. But of course, this won't present anything on the screen because I just have a empty array right here. So to fetch this data, what do you think we need to do? So we saw before that to insert, we just imported the contacts collection and called the insert method. And we will do kind of the same way here. So we will import the contacts collection and we want to find any contact and I will call the fetch method right here. So it is like this, but not exactly. Because if you remember when we saw the boilerplate code and we saw the links that were listed on the screen, we saw that when we changed something on the database, it was being changed in real time on the screen. So to do that, we need to use a resource from Meter called Tracker. Now, Tracker is a tracking system, a Meter library that will rerun a function or a computation when a source changes. So this is exactly what we need here. So what we want to do is to watch the database. And then if something changes there, we want to fetch that data again and render in the screen. So basically what you need to do is to call this function 
inside a use tracker hook. So we will start it from here. And when you create our when you created our application using the Meteor boilerplate and the React boilerplate, this package was installed for us as well. So we just have to import from Meteor React Meteor data. And then we have to call it here and call that function that is fetching the data inside this and return the result of it. So it is very simple to use and very powerful. But let's see if it's working right. Let's open our screen now. And we have a React error here because we are not using a unique key for our list. So let's do that. I will add a key to this item and I will use the email because the email will have to be unique, right? So I will put it here. Let's clear and refresh the screen. We, we actually don't need to refresh, but sometimes I do that. Okay, so we don't have any error and we can see that the data is here. So now if we insert something new, like a thread two on these fields, and we need to put at gmail.com and thread2.png and save it. Look at that. It is working. So you can see that we are not, if, if you go back to the form, we are just inserting, right? And we can even remove this console log right now. And we are just inserting. We are not asking the database to fetch the data again. In the contacts list, we are just fetching this time. And like I explained before, the tracker is responsible for watching the database and then propagating the new data to the client side. And actually, tracker is like an interface because behind the scenes, we are using web sockets and DDP, and we are going to understand this better in the next videos. So just to try another time, because we did that with the boilerplate. So we have those two records here, and I'm going to delete. Let's refresh the carry here so we can see that they are in the database. And I will do the same as we did in the boilerplate. So those two records are there. I will delete this first one. So remove document. OK. And that's it. So look at this. It's not magic. It is Meteor itself using Tracker, WebSockets, and DDP.